If I were to ask you what the main goal or the main work of the church is, would you be able to identify it? I don't know if I would have been able to identify it before maybe some theological study. But it's actually pretty simple and pretty clear. To evangelize and to increase the number of the baptized. That is the mission of the church. And as I think I've said before, the church doesn't have a mission, but the mission has the church. Now I say that because really Jesus gave us that mission in the Great Commission, and that has been the mission of the church, and the church has supported that mission throughout the ages. And as well throughout the ages, we have these great examples of missionaries and people who've evangelized to different parts of the world to carry out the mission of the church. And the saints that we celebrate today are great shining examples of that. We have St. Isaac Jogues and St. John Bebrouff, who were French Jesuit priests who traveled to the North American native tribes to evangelize there. And these, these uh, men actually learned the Huron language, the different native languages there, so that they could teach the faith to the native people. And it's said that they baptized, um, actually just that one of them, St. John, baptized over 7 million people and converted that many people. While they were working there, though, it was still a very risky thing to do and a very risky place to be because the Native Americans could, with different tribes, they could kind of turn on each other and they were always at risk of being martyred. But these men were very adamant and very zealous in their mission. Even when they had to return to France for one, a, a small time because of some political uh, things that had come up, they still came back knowing that when they came back this would probably mean their death at some time. I think that this kind of evangelization today doesn't really seem like something that happens in the church for us. We don't really think of that as being a part of what the church does, but it absolutely still does. Most people have heard about Jesus, yes, or maybe some people have grown up believing in Jesus, but they don't really know Jesus. So we might ask, how can we be evangelists in this day and age? It's what St. John Paul II and the uh, popes before him, actually starting with Pope Paul VI, called the new evangelization, learning how to evangelize those who, have already, who already know Jesus or have learned about Jesus, but need to really understand and believe in Jesus. Um, I think that the first reading today from the book of Ephesians really gives us a great uh, outlook on how we can do this sorts of evangelization. It says, at the end of this reading today, it says, we, we have been created in Christ Jesus for good works, which have been prepared in advance so that we might live in them. So it says that we've been created in our Christianity, in our faith, for good works in Christ Jesus, the good work of spreading the faith to other people. And the whole rest of this reading is a beautiful exposition on how God has saved us from our transgressions. It says that while we were yet dead in sin, the Lord came and saved us in his great mercy. I think that's the way that we evangelize today, the way that we can be a witness to other people, that our faith, in our faith, we know Jesus because of his great mercy towards us. Because we're not perfect, and neither is anyone else in the world, and that because of his great mercy, we have been redeemed. And not that that makes us perfect now either, but that through Jesus we know mercy and forgiveness. So let's pray today that we might have that same zeal as the North American martyrs, and we might work zealously to proclaim Jesus Christ and his mercy and love so that all people might know that same mercy and love.